if we find a way to inject the observer into physical equations, then physicists can do something with it. And I think it's just it, that because there's no way at the moment, nobody can even think of a way to do that. That's yeah. why the insistence. Go so, so for example, you always, whenever somebody says, who's not a physicist like yourself, yeah. whenever somebody echoes what you just said, which is, you know, Dean Radin's experiment with the observer influencing it, the pushback that you get from physicists and people who are like scientifically minded is, well, one second, what they mean in the experiment when they say the observer, they don't mean a person, they mean an apparatus, the detector, the, the yeah, photo the detector, detector yeah. right? But you, they're forgetting, well, this is my contention and then you can give me your thoughts on that, but you still have somebody knowing this. And I know it's exactly. not a thing you no. would do an equation, but that's a like you can't talk about that outside of you experiencing it. They did this experiment in so many sophisticated ways using delayed uh, choice, using um, outcomes uh, sealed in envelopes and being opened at a later time and stuff. I mean, uh, <laughs> uh, trust me, there is a, a conscious observation <laughs> that changes the outcome. Okay, so this is it's something to do with us. Okay, so you heard it here from a physicist. Yeah, so <laughs> it seems it seems to be it seems to be this. Um, um, so. If that's the case, then perhaps, I don't know, some kind of approach involving physics and neurosciences and um, uh, metaphysics, or I, I don't know, I, I did, this would be just speculation, but probably an easy gateway to, to this would be still through our minds and consciousness and stuff. I, I, this is just a speculation.